Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Why are we rebooting everything? Because they're creatively bankrupt in Hollywood. Are there two chicken shit take chances on new things? Oh my God. So we're going to talk about criticism toward the new Fairly Odd Parents live action, yes, live action show. Because they, they already did one. They did the movie and it was terrible. Right. But that's not all, guys. That's not no, all. No, no, no. Now we have to go for Alf. Now they're coming for Alf, too. They're coming for ALF. Yeah, we thought ALF got a reprieve. There actually was an ALF reboot a couple of years ago. I remember this. This is why I'm like, isn't this old news? Yeah, I thought it was too at first. Uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna come for ALF too. So we know we have we have uh, reached the bottom of the 80s reboot barrel mm -hmm. when you come for ALF. And what the hell they were thinking with Fairly Odd Parents? No idea. But neither one of these warranted their own video. So we're gonna mush them together mm -hmm. and talk about un unwanted reboots. Pretty much, and that's all. Pretty much everything is anymore. We have like that with like what the Grease prequel. The Grease prequel. You know, Paramount especially keeps this, this whatever they can throw up there, they're doing it. Whatever they can throw up, whatever they can pretty bomb. Pretty much, pretty much. Um, so we're gonna talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 258,000, almost 259,000 subs, almost 260,000. We're almost Yay. there. So hit the subscribe button if you have not done so make already. Make sure you're still subscribed too. Yeah, make sure you're still subscribed. YouTube is up to shenanigans. It's it's uh, purge month mm -hmm. and they purge subs. So heard of Shark Week, it's purge month. Yeah, so which which one of these dumpster fires do we want to talk about first? Just pick one. Uh, we'll talk about Fairly Odd Parents because everybody's okay. talking about how bad it is. It's bad. Um, if you haven't seen the trailer, I thought it was a parody. It was not a parody. It oh, people, is. Other people thought it was a parody too. Yeah, uh, NME says the Fairly Odd Parents live action reboot trailer draws criticism like a bad SNL parody. Well, not just that. It's like Timmy Turner's here and he's giving his fairies to his cousins because. Like slaves. Because they're, yeah, because they're children and, you know. Where's the baby? Where's, no. the, baby? Where's the baby? That's a good um, question. Apparently they don't have the baby anymore. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe they sold the baby. <laughs> it's Hollywood. They might have sold the baby. Uh, Paramount Plus has released a trailer for the live action Fairly Odd Parents series nobody wanted set to be released next month. It's called Fairly Odd Parents Fairly o Otter. Fairly Otter. Series sees Caleb Pierce play a grown up Timmy Turner alongside uh, Audrey Grace Marshall as his co cousin Viv and, and Tyler Wallace as her new stepbrother Roy. Uh, I don't care about these other people. Sorry, no no offense if you're watching this. Uh, after the trailer was released, many viewers criticized the show, comparing it negatively to a Saturday Night Live it's, skit. It's, it's, yeah. It's um, pretty bad. My kids used to watch the show, and they came out, and they were like, what is this? And then they walked away and didn't care. It looks like every other D-list Nickelodeon show. Like mm -hmm. every, you know, but we're just going to put, like, Flash animated Odd Parents in it. Because at least the other movie, if I remember correctly, I think they were CG, weren't they? So they at least meshed with... Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's been so many years since I I've seen it. Were. The kids I, watched I, it a couple I times. Um, that was Drake, wasn't yeah, it? Wasn't it was, that? Yeah, because they used to watch Drake and Josh, like reruns of that. And then yeah. they used to, you know, so... Yeah, yeah. he got in trouble for something. I, yeah, he got, he got in trouble for, like, propositioning a minor or something. I don't remember, but something like that. Oh, boy. Anyway... Timmy Turner, knock it off. Uh, the new live-action Fairly Odd Parent show is genuinely one of the worst things I've ever seen. Wrote one Twitter user. Well, that it, it wasn't just one Twitter user. It was mm -hmm. everybody was like, "What the hell is this? Uh, this is either an elaborate SNL skit or I'm being pranked." Well, they had an SNL skit, and I thought it was great of uh, Urkel. Family yeah, that Matters, was that was gritty. awesome. That it was, was great. well done. I refuse to believe these are real images for the Paramount Plus Fairly Odd Parents sequel series. Yes, they are. They are. They are. This is either an elaborate skitter and being pranked. Uh, the new live action Fairly Odd Parents show is genuinely one of the worst things I've ever seen. I agree. Uh, what the fuck is this shit? This looks like a bad parody. Yeah, you don't like it when they come for your stuff. No, that's that's true. You You get to feel the pain. That us 80s kids have felt. Now they're coming from the 90s and even the 2000s. Now, now early 2000s stuff is considered retro. Retro. It's just, it's just, it's just, yeah. It is what it is. But here we go again. Paramount just like, I don't know what they're smoking over there. They're just like, hey, redo everything. Oh, they'll come for Arthur too. They're already talking they're going to do an Arthur movie. And I guess they ended Arthur and they ended with Arthur being an adult. Which right. is so weird because they had those Arthur as an adult YouTube 
uh, parodies. I don't remember those. I never where, saw with those. With like drugs and sex and all oh that stuff. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. I didn't see oh, they're those. great. <laughs> I didn't see them. Oh, they're great. I'll show them to you. You have to show home. them they're to very me, yes. good. You know who probably knows all about them? Our kids. I think Squid King <laughs> actually showed it to me first. <laughs> Like, that's what I fucking yeah, bad mom. DW becomes an unlikable rich bitch. No, is it a, a police officer? No, she became no in, oh, the, in the ones in the you're... parody. Yeah, okay. she buys Arthur's building and he has to go move in with his parents. His <laughs> okay, okay, well, that sounds like a more entertaining show than this. It, it is. Yeah, remember when I've always said the Fairly Odd Parents died a slow, painful death? Yes, the first like two seasons were good, and after that, I was like, what the hell? Now it's come back with the vengeance and become a. An effing zombie. I don't know why I'm censoring. An effing zombie. Uh, okay, it's probably because Butch Hartman. Uh, <laughs> probably Butch Hartman. I'm surprised they didn't bring Butch Hartman up in this because people don't they don't like Butch Hartman on on Twitter very much. He's he's conservative and I guess he does art swipes. That's that's all I, I get from it. Mm -hmm. I, I have no idea. But anyway, yeah, this dumpster fire is coming. Uh, we almost avoided an Alf reboot. I do remember this from a couple of years ago. I'm like, oh, hey, Ralph or Ralph. Ralph, that's what this is going to be called. <laughs> that's his cousin. Yeah, that's what this is going to be called. It's going to be called Ralph because it's not quite mm -hmm. uh, Alf. Wretching Alf. <laughs> Ralph. Um, re remake Alien Life Form. Re re yeah. Redo Alien Life Form. Reanimated Alien Life Form. Ralph. Uh, Ralph. Yeah. Alf died in the 1980s. He got, he got dissected. He on a cat. Oh, I was going to say he got dissected in Area 51 or something, and now he's back. Uh, they might have sent him there afterwards. Choked yeah. on a pussy. He's yeah. dead. <laughs> you know, yeah, so. Alf likes to eat pussy. Remember, that's that's the joke. <laughs> I didn't get that joke when I was a kid. I didn't either. It's like, oh, he likes to eat cats. It's, oh, he likes to eat pussy. Oh, ha, 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 ha. He even laughed like that, too. Yes, he did. It's the joke. <laughs> that was I the damn you were joke. Just being like, Ha, 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 ha. No. Oh, that's how he left. Okay. I'm slow. God, today. I went to school with this one kid that like, he was like the Alf kid. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and I swear to God, every, every, what was it on? Like Mondays or something? Like every day. I don't come to school, day. And I wouldn't, I would watch Alf here and there, but he would give me a complete blow by blow of everything that happened on Alf that night. I'm like, I don't give a shit, kid. I, I don't care. If I wanted to watch Alf, I would watch Alf. <laughs> blow by blow about Alf eating pussy. <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I'm good. Ha! Oh, uh, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we, we dodged the bullet. No, we didn't. No, Al Alf is coming back. Um, this was announced today. Oh, God. Uh, Alf distribution rights are acquired by Shout Factory. Okay, that's cool. I like Shout Factory. They, mm -hmm. they do all the Super Sentai shows. I'm like, uh -huh. okay, they're pretty cool. But, th they're but then it gets worse. Very changed. Anyway. They plan a new wave of pop culture content tied to the sitcom. Uh, exclusive. Distribution rights to ALF, the puppet-fronted sitcom that ran on NBC from 86 to 90, spawned an animated series. That animated series was actually not terrible. I don't remember it. Yeah. it was His name was Gordon Shumway. I did know that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the, the company, in partnership with Alien Productions, plan to bring ALF titles to digital entertainment platform uh, in the U.S., Lionsgate, which so previously... So streaming. Had, yep. Had brokered a deal for the sitcom to stream on Tubi. The agreement ended. Oh, oh wait. So oh, that's they're not now. So then Tubi dropped it. Yep. Um, so now Shout... Yeah, it's so, it's so bad Tubi <laughs> dropped it. Yeah, it's so bad Tubi dropped it. Uh, Shout Factory founders and CEOs Bob Emmer and Garson Foos. I don't know. Anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so they're talking about Alf, blah, blah, blah. Multi-year teaming provides Shout Factory and its multi-platform streaming service. Shout Factory TV with exclusive rights, streaming, spanning, digital blah, broadcast, blah blah blah. blah, 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 blah. Included. Here's where it gets interesting. Included. Or oh, the, the original series. Yep, the original series. The animated Alf tales. There you go. Uh, Alf the animated series. They had a movie. Pro I remember Project Alf. They I tried to bring it. Alf back in the 90s, I think. Did they really? Why? I don't know. Remember when oh, they... Oh, God, why? They tried to bring Knight Rider back. And I actually like the new Knight Rider show. We I watched like it Knight with Rider. Yes. son. I, I'm trying to remember. I, I like Knight Rider in general. I mean, I remember thinking when they did that, too. I was like, why? Yeah. Because I was like, you know... They're, it's not gonna be the same, and it's definitely not gonna be the same now. Don't go. Oh, don't you not do not touch Knight Rider, A Team, since that movie, uh, Airwolf. Keep your grubby mitts off. <laughs> Why can't we have a Transformer combiner team of the A Team Van, Knight Rider, Airwolf? Well, there you go, fan Riptide. On Riptide, yay! Yo, know, and they can all just merge into like. Oh, what else was out back then? Uh, Street Hawk. 
Street Hawk. Uh, you know. Oh God, I love Street Hawk. I like Viper too, but that's because I wanted a Viper. Anyway. I almost, I was looking at Vipers when I was younger, but then I realized I was poor and too tall to fit in a Viper. I would have, I would have. like Prowlers too. I would have drove that thing. I know you would. Like, would've. you know. Hmm. Anyway. You would have driven that thing like Alf eats pussy. That's right. Okay. I would have um, nice and smooth. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, they plan to develop. Okay, so this is everybody's like, oh, they're gonna do, they're gonna do a reboot. They're very careful how they word it. The company plans to develop new Alf related content. What is that? What does that even mean? That Alf means for like, like YouTube Shorts or something. And launch digital media initiatives and domestic syndication and streaming electronic sell through and video on demand. They're gonna do a new show, but they're being very careful how they word it because if they're like yep we're gonna reboot alf again people be like no don't it's like oh yes we're gonna create new streaming content based on the property and new web initiatives based on the property well there's good news though they're working with the series creators okay that's good yeah, so Paul, uh, going to pratchett they did um god i can't remember the name off the top of my head they did uh was it dc follies or something it was like it was like spitting image but not and it was it was like political puppets. That would. Oh, I remember. I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah. It was. I remember that. Anyway, so they're gonna do this this pop culture content in this you know weirdly oddly worded deal of some kind for us. Yeah, Alf. yeah. So they were gonna they were gonna reboot it before. Yeah, the spaceship has so, sailed. Thank you. The, yeah. Agreed. Mel Mac verse. <laughs> Restored footage not seen in 30 years. Episodes were altered for syndication, editing, even some new, new dialogue to keep it from feeling dated. Yeah, probably. Um, that happens a lot. A lot of times people, you know, they, they uh, you remember things differently and they're like, oh my God, I knew, like, okay, so. Like, um, that's radical. And I'll say something else now. Transformers the movie for years. I told people about you, this Yes, before. you did. You can this, tell it again, though. It makes I'm you feel telling better. it again. It makes me feel old. I went to go see Transformers the movie when I was a kid because, yes, I'm that old. And I remember. And it was just my grandparents took me and there was only like one other family, a grandma and her kid. And like all the grandparents went to go sleep through this movie. And I remember Spike said, shit, oh, uh, shit, you know, with Unicron. And you're a little kid that's like, oh, oh my God, the Transformers are swearing. And no one's putting soap in his mouth. What the hell? He's not getting a belt. What's going on? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is G.I. Joe going to eat pussy in the next movie? No, What's... that's not what you were thinking. You didn't even know what that meant. No, I didn't. Um. G.I. Joe eats cats? I don't understand. Like, Alf? Uh, so, yeah. So, I thought I was nuts for years. And, like, the VHS versions of it, they, they scrubbed the swear mm -hmm. word out. And it wasn't until it came out on DVD in, like, 2000, 2001. I remember you were, no, I was when we were married. Because I yeah. remember, you were so damn excited about the fact that they, I'm like, and? <laughs> and I'm like, like, no, you don't understand. I'm not I crazy. thought I was crazy. I thought I was crazy because I remember them swearing in the movie. And every copy of the movie I had on VHS, they didn't swear. And now they're swearing. Because all the people went to the theater to see it, really. So they, they probably watched it. it was yeah, TV it was in the stuff. theater for like two weeks. And then they're know? like, well, it doesn't say it in the, when you went, like, you know, oh, oh, tell everybody, just watch it. When it's on TV, they're going to say shit. I'm no, telling they didn't you. Say shit. And then everybody thought you were a liar, right? Yeah, they thought I was lying. It's like the Transformers. It's like, no, because they broke it up later. Yeah. They broke it up and they ran it on TV as like a five part miniseries. Yes. And they didn't swear. And then people are like telling kids at school probably like, hey, watch this because he says the S, which they wouldn't have run on TV back then anyway. No, Remember they, they would bleep out the words, but they, they'd make it say something different like, you know, instead of say like shit, it would just say shoot, it, but it would be like poorly worded. Yeah, it, like, right. They, they like, wouldn't match up and the, the, out, and the voice wasn't the same voice. Yeah. You know? Like that is a really bad Sylvester Stallone impression. Yeah, it was, it was always funny to watch those back in the day. I mean, thankfully they left in the part where Optimus Prime told Megatron to go fuck himself. <laughs> You know, I mean, they left that in, but they didn't leave it. No, they they didn't. They should have. That would have been funny. Yeah. Well, Fuck you. They only get away with so much. That was pushing it back then. That was pushing. It was like, oh my god, the toys are. Yeah, they killed everybody. They were pushing it in a lot of ways. But anyway, back to the point, which is stop rebooting stop everything. It. it looks bad. It looks stupid. Nobody cares. I mean. You can bring back like the old episodes and restore them or whatnot. You know, put that out there and you know, okay, fine. But no one wants new. Because who knows what they're going to do. I mean, could you imagine what's Alf going to be a woman now because of, of mandates? Half-shaved head. Oh, my God. That'd be funny if it was just a parody of, like, how how to ruin an 80s show. And it was really meta. 
And Alf is just like completely like it's not mouth. Elf. Matriarchal, no mouth. Milf. Not to be confused with no. Matriarchal alien life form or foul feminist alien life form. Foul. There you go. Foul. Foul beats pussy too. <laughs> well, there, that, that would keep it. That would at least be consistent. It would be. They both do on that plan. I mean, both boys and girls. Are do. we are we gonna put tits on Alf? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Those Melmacian milkers. Are we gonna? He would find it very funny. Oh my God, they should. They should be like, oh my God, what did you do to me? You took me to Area 51 and now I, I got can't. tits. I can't. This is why I can't take you anywhere. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> yes, we should have a while ago. Okay, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. We'll talk later. <laughs> Bye.